Welcome everybody. Today's goal is we're going to take this pickup bed crane that's sitting on these wooden blocks and we're going to turn it into this. To make this happen, I took a piece of 4x4 box tubing that I had kicking around. It's a little bit rusty, but not terrible. I cut it in half and then notched it where it would sit over the frame of the tongue of the dump trailer. And then I had 90 degrees welding a piece of it back on so that way it'll follow the dump trailer and the crane's going to mount to this. The cut on the angle iron wasn't quite 90 degrees, so when I used my magnet clamp to hold it at 90 degrees, it did create a wide gap that had to be filled. I'm getting ready to at least mark these holes. I got this clamped down. Used half inch drill bits just to center on each side of that. I find WD-40 makes a decent cutting oil. Keeps the bit a little bit cooler and lasts a little bit longer and cuts a little bit better. With the holes drilled and the test fit complete and everything looking the way I want it. Wiping down the steel with some brake cleaner to get all the oil off of it so the paint will stick a little bit better. Period. If you're wondering why I'm pouring it out of the can, it's because I used up all of the compressed air in it a while back and now I'm just pouring it out of the hole in the top of the can to use up what's left. For paint, I'm doing a base layer of flat black, and then I'm going to go over it with rubberized undercoating to help give it a little bit of corrosion protection long term. My biggest concern about this installation is the amount of torque that can be generated by the lever arm. With the crane fully extended, it's about six feet tall. So with 2,500 pounds of pulling force on the winch, you're looking at a lever arm that can produce 15,000 foot-pounds of torque. To secure the crane, I'm using half-inch diameter U-bolts that come around the frame of the trailer and then up through my base plate. The reason why I built it to come off to the side, as you see in the picture here, is so that if I'm lifting off of this side of the trailer, it's able to resist the torque in that direction a little bit better. Um, with the wires on the other side, I did not want to go both directions, so I'm going to limit myself to working off the one side or straight back most of the time. With the goal of trying to get everything to line up straight, I keep working back and forth with the impact wrench from one side to the other to try to pull the bolt in straight.
with the base of the crane installed securely, it's time to mount the rest of the crane. Despite being able to pin everything in place for transportation down the road, I'm also adding a strap off of this one leg of the frame to help secure the winch cable to hold things in place and reduce some of the rattling. With the crane installed, it's time to pull the trailer out of its winter storage spot and give it a try. You'll notice that it mostly fits in the shed, but it's a very tight fit. But at least it keeps it out of the weather. Some. What made me go this route was I wanted the ability to winch things all the way into my dump trailer without having to worry about not being able to dump or not being able to pull it all the way in. For a challenge I had is the front of the dump trailer is pretty high as it has a nice protection for the tarp roller. This gets me up above it nicely, however like I said it produces a ton of torque so it is a relatively light duty pulling device. So it should work for a lot of th things. While I do consider this to be fairly light duty, I am pleased with how this came out. I have considered whether or not I want to try to do some sort of a hook to tie back the crane width to reduce some of the forces being applied at the base. Um, but overall I'm happy. Let's see it load a log. And do note that this is purely just for demonstration purposes. I had no purpose to actually pull this into the dump trailer. Thank you for checking out my video. I hope that this idea comes in handy for somebody. If you have thoughts on what would make it better or a better way to do what I'm doing, besides getting a tractor, which is a long-term goal, love to hear it. Anyhow, have a good day.